Hi, it's Kerry. I've been asked to show my Tyrannosaurus collection. I'm going to show them to you one by one and they're just going to walk past quickly. And afterwards, I've put them onto my set here. Can you tell me how many T-Rex are here today? Because I've got no idea. This species Tyrannosaurus rex is one of the most well represented of the large theropods. Tyrannosaurus lived throughout what is now Western North America on what was then an island continent known as Laramidia. And here we've got a feathered T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus had a much wider range than other Tyrannosaurids. Fossils are found in a variety of rock formations dating back to the Upper Cretaceous period, which is about 68 to 66 million years ago. The T-Rex hatchling in its egg. the last known member of the Tyrannosaurids and among the last non-avian dinosaurs to exist before the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. Like other Tyrannosaurids, Tyrannosaurus was a bipedal carnivore with a massive skull balanced by a long heavy tail. Another feathered T-Rex. Relative to its large and powerful hind limbs, the forelimbs were short but unusually powerful for their size and had two clawed digits. Although other theropods rivaled or exceeded Tyrannosaurus rex in size, it is still among the largest known land predators and is estimated to have exerted the largest bite force among all terrestrial animals. T-Rex was most likely an apex predator, preying upon hadrosaurs, armoured herbivores like ceratopsians which would include triceratops and ankylosaurs and possibly sauropods. T-Rex was an opportunistic scavenger, just like modern day lions, tigers and predatory birds. This is a really old T-Rex. And another feathered T-Rex. Scientists now consider it likely that T-Rex had feathers on at least parts of its body during some stage of its life due to their presence in related species. The Chinese dinosaur Dialong would be a good example of that. To compensate for the immense bulk of T-Rex Many bones throughout the skeleton were hollow. The largest known Tyrannosaurus rex skull measures up to 1.52 metres or 5 feet in length. Large openings called fenestrae in the skull reduced weight as in all carnivorous theropods. 
Jurassic World T-Rex. A T-Rex with movable everything. A young juvenile. The tip of the upper jaw was U-shaped which increased the amount of tissue and bone a Tyrannosaur could rip out with one bite with its front teeth. Most non-Tyrannosaurid carnivores had V-shaped upper jaws. The teeth of Tyrannosaurus rex were different in shape. The teeth at the front of the upper jaws were closely packed and were D-shaped in cross-section. They had reinforcing ridges on the rear surface with a tip shaped like chisel-like blades and curving backwards. The shape of these teeth reduced the risk of them snapping when Tyrannosaurus bit down and pulled. The remaining teeth were strong and banana shaped rather than like daggers and were more widely spaced and had reinforcing ridges. Another baby in the egg. Tyrannosaurus and other tooth theropods had enamel covered teeth. They would have required some sort of lip-like covering to seal the mouth when closed or possibly even large flat scales that left no room for lips. Tyrannosaurus rex arms are very small in relative to overall body size, measuring only 1 meter or 3.3 feet long. The bones show large areas for muscle attachment, indicating considerable strength. The forelimbs may have been used to grasp a mate and possibly were used to assist the animal in rising from a prone or lying down position. The forelimbs may have been able to hold struggling prey. One of my favourite T-Rexes. I love the little gold dots. Tyrannosaurus had binocular vision. It would have allowed it to discern objects in the far distance. Tyrannosaurus had a great sense of smell. It could detect carcasses by scent alone across great distances. If you look carefully, you can see the tiny clawed fingers there. A dinosaur ring. The sense of smell in Tyrannosaurus may have been comparable to modern day vultures, which use scent to track carcasses for scavenging. More than 50 major specimens of Tyrannosaurus rex have been identified, some of which are nearly complete skeletons. Tyrannosaurus has been very popular, featured in films, in advertising, postage stamps and many other places.
and a very large T-Rex. I'm hoping enough viewers come up with the same answer so I know how many Tyrannosaurs I've got. I've had a lot of fun putting all the Tyrannosaurs out. I've put them around the pools and on rocks, in caves and on the grass over here as well. Tap the bell icon to be notified when my next new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching my video. Please share with your friends. See you again soon.